Behold, earmuffs. But where did they come from? Meet Chester Greenwood, born in Farmington, Maine in 1858. Growing up in Maine, 15-year-old Chester was accustomed to freezing winters. But he also had large ears that didn't handle the cold well, especially when he was ice skating. Sensitive to wool, he didn't want to wrap his head in a scarf like everyone else, so he decided a little innovation was in order. At home, Chester molded wire into ear-shaped loops and convinced his grandmother to sew over them soft muffs made of beaver fur and velvet. He then affixed a wire loop to the ear protectors and headed back out into the cold. The earmuffs were a great improvement, but they still flapped around a lot. Chester took a second stab at it, substituting a flexible steel band for the wire. Soon, other kids and adults were clamoring for a pair of their own. In 1877, at the tender age of 18, Chester acquired a patent for the earmuffs, which he dubbed Greenwood Champion Ear Protectors. He started producing them locally, and over the years, they grew in popularity. In 1936, his factory hit peak production, producing 400,000 earmuffs. When he died in 1937, he had attained celebrity status in his home state. In 1977, the governor of Maine declared the first Saturday of every December Chester Greenwood Day. <laughs>